so this is the, another visual of the Jeep's BLD brake lock differential. And you'll see how it'll kind of behave like a little bit, and then the other one will kind of kick in after some time. See? And that's, it's good, but also um, not as great as if you had, let's say, a uh, limited set differential, which is a little bit quicker response. And as you can see, the problem with that is there's a delay in when the traction control needs to kick in. So unfortunately, it's great for like sand and, you know, like dirt roads. But when you get into snow, having a true track um, or locker is really ideal. Okay, so basically I'm gonna go uh, back a little further here and try and get myself stuck exactly where Willie got stuck right in this uh, big ass rut, as you guys, as you guys can see. I mean, it's because this thing comes up to my waist. It's pretty deep right here and super soupy. And I'm gonna get stuck uh, without lockers on and I'm gonna try and create uh, the same scenario to see if True Track will get me out of this situation so this is a little two track demonstration to see um how the wheel is pro is operating under this particular circumstance so let's see what happens Yes, both are spinning, but the left is spinning faster. Okay. That's the gap, right? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna put it in reverse. Right. Yeah, you you go right through there. All right, so we just plowed through this right here, and as you guys Rick, can see, you want to drive it up a little bit. And as you guys can see, uh, the true track really gave oh. leads you the opportunity yeah. to uh, to you know go backwards if you need to. But as you guys can just saw, at least there was power to both uh, both rear tires. It wasn't just one or the other like a lot of the four x four, the crutches. So you know, I do got to give a lot of credits to the Jeep for their uh, BLD traction control system. It's pretty nice. Uh, not too many trucks out there that have this kind of traction control. Uh, it acts kind of like a LSD kind of system, but the problem with those is that the, it, there's a long delay process from when it activates um, and engages as you guys saw in Willie's Jeep. So have, putting in an LSD, um, you know, in the rear or front, whatever, whatever you want, really does help because at least then, both your tires will always be spinning, whether it's a 50-50 split or a 70-30 split, but you'll always have traction so that when you do feel like you're getting stuck, you can just back out. Hopefully, uh, it'll give you a better chance of getting unstuck or getting through things so you don't get stuck.